could tell I was at the NBC party? Go USA! Go <laughs> who would Who would sit there and wear these on their hands when they're going to all the parties? Oh yeah, I would have. <laughs> anyway, but I don't have fingers. Okay, anyway, as you can tell, I am all wound up. Just had all the Golden Globes parties. I am still on an adrenaline rush. I know, it's the Globes, it's the Golden Globes. Anyway, yes, go USA. And I got these because NBC is one of the sponsors. Well, actually, it's being broadcast on the Olympics, right? For the, the Sochi Olympics coming up, and they were there for the NBC Universal Party, the viewing party, the after party for the Golden Globes. Yay! Okay, can you tell them a little warm up? Anyway, we have to get back to regular news. Although entertainment news is regular, it is regular news too, right? Oh, okay. Part of it is you have to go to the travelsuite.com because that's where you're going to be talking about the Golden Globe. Meanwhile, on here, we're going to talk about the hard news. We're going to bring old camera with comments on the headlines of today. And, this is, and the Supreme Court takes the first steps in the impeachment of the president. Well, yes. They, they, they basically, it looks like they're going to hand him his head over the things that he's been doing. You know, he has no presidential authority to make recess appointments while Congress is in session. He has no presidential authority to change change bills just because he wants some change. They said that just a lot, they have a long list of things that he's going to be in front of the Supreme Court for in the next year. He said before the election he's going to suffer a string of defeats in front of a court that he thought was on his side and, uh, and it's this disaster. He said they're arguing today. Well they weren't actually in session other than the fact that they were in session that's mm -hmm. what the, they said. You mean that the uh, fi the 61 members of the United States Senate that was holding meetings wasn't in, well. There was only done to hurt the president. He said, "How many of the people were Democrats?" Well, half of them. Which means it was a, they said. You mean in other words, it was a bipartisan meeting trying to fix the problems of this nation, and that, that you do not consider that to be the United States Senate in session. Mm -hmm. They said, well, it was done specifically to hurt the president. That, then they said, we're going to try it. Now, <laughs> Kagan got angry. We're going to try this again to his solicitor general. Do you, do you mean that Cong the United States Senate, in a bipartisan meeting, trying to fix the budget of the United States Congress, the United States, it was not, an, a, they were trying to hurt the president. They said, well, we're not going to get anywhere at this line, are we? They, they, that's their only fallback. They were trying to hurt the president. They're, they, well, when the liberals, every liberal were nastier to him than the people on the right were. Mm -hmm. They were sort of being courteous. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they said that the Repu they, they fell into the latest Democratic trap. The president's got to open these, these zones, these poverty, these promise zones, where he promises the government will help the people revive their communities, mm -hmm. even though he can't, doesn't have any money and doesn't have the authority to do any of it. But the Republicans have fell into the trap because unless the Republicans go along with him, they're going to be seen as 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 as, as, uh, as killers of the economy, killers of this. What? Well, yeah. Even though that the he's been in charge for five years, the economy is not budging any direction. And as of right now, the market is dying because oh, it seems all those things that he fudged for during the last quarter are coming back to roost in the stock market. The businesses weren't making any money. The businesses weren't hiring people. The people. The only reason unemployment has went down is because people have dropped off the unemployment rolls. Other than that, this has been a roaring economy. And has a bridge scandal put an end to Governor Christie's White House dream? Oh, absolutely, because they're going to impeach him. What? They, they said they won't be able to remove him from office, but they are going to hold impeachment proceedings, and when that's done, his presidential aspirations are over. They said that... First of all, okay, everybody knows who did it. Is the people? Okay. Christie is the darling of the people of the of the the people that rule the Republican Party. He, the people that do the actual voting, don't like him at all. So you've got to assume that somebody that basically is on the right that doesn't like a liberal Republican simply went to the press and said, "Hey, you know what? There's emails to the effect that Christie's office." did this mess on the bridge to, to his political payback and it doesn't make any difference how many people he fires. He will, he's already toast because the Democrats are going to make this the story. And Putin throws in Ukraine $15 billion lifeline and slashes a gas price. 
uh, because the Ukraine is shifting back to the Soviet Empire, even though the people don't want to belong. I mean, you're looking for a, another revolution in the Soviet that's going to happen in the Ukraine because these people are pissed off. They don't want to be part of the Soviet Union, but they, you know, they managed to, by a, by a dubious means, get a Soviet hardliner as president of the company, the country, and they're basically wanting to overthrow his butt. So there's going to be another outbreak of military action. And Fed side with same-sex couples in Utah. Which is again a foul, okay. The holder had decided with the, with the president's support to basically make the decision that that religious grounds, no religious things no longer exist in this nation and that if you want to marry your brother, your sister, your dog, your cat, you know, 150 people like a harem is perfectly acceptable to this what? president. Yeah. What? Yeah. And weighing power among branches, a U.S. court could tip against the president. Well, yeah, they tipped against it this morning. They said that mm -hmm. it is written in the Constitution specifically what a president can and cannot do. And this president, that's what another liberal said this morning, I think it was Ginsburg said, this president has seemed to decide that the Constitution is irrelevant and that he can run this country as if he were a king. Mm -hmm. That's not very nice statements from people on the left. And fire risk known before Carnival ship itself. Yeah, basically what happened is these ships are costing so much money if they don't keep them uh, out, you know, going out mm -hmm. there, they, um, they, they lose a bundle. So they think that, well, what we can do is we can sell these ships and fix the problems as we're on the way. The problem comes is if it couldn't be fixed at the dock, you sure can't fix it while it's in the high seas. Antarctica may have a new type of ice diamonds. I, that one I don't. Antarctica? Antarctica would be, uh, okay, the problem is, is both the Arctic and the Antarctic used to be, they used to be green continents <laughs> with volcanic activity. Volcanic activity means they're diamonds. Mm -hmm. And the stupid war on e-cigs. Oh God, I mean we saw so many e-cigarettes over at the, the Consumer Electronics Show. And I didn't see enough, you saw mostly, them. Mostly they couldn't give you samples because of the fact that nobody's sure whether or not you can transport them on airplanes or not. Oh really? Yeah. We could mail them. Yeah, but they no, I don't think, I, I, I don't think you can use the United States Post Office to mail them either. I think they have to go through like United Parcel or oh, FedEx. Oh really? Who basically have a different set of rules. Oh. They consider it to be explosive in nature because of the batteries in them. Oh, interesting. And our transporting hazardous problem. You can't mail tobacco products through the mail, so. You can't? Nope. Oh. And Carrie heads to Paris for meetings on Syrian conflict. I mean, this is ridiculous. They know that, okay, Obama lost the war for <laughs> the for the rebels. He supported the people, the, the, the Al-Qaeda, and, and, and basically the whole universe is standing against the Syrians while saying at the same time there's nothing we can do because the United States handed uh, Assad the victory. Mm -hmm. And Chinese tycoon considers a bid for the New York Times. Yeah, that would be a great one. When mm -hmm. I, you know that when I was young it was forbidden by law for a foreign country to own 51% of any American business and to flat out own any broadcasting or mm -hmm. any, any news business whatsoever, and yet today our president basically sells whole companies to the Chinese and Russians and anybody who wants to buy them. And women make 2013 gains, but glass stealing is still there. Okay, here, you know what Herbie Daddy says about the glass stealing? My mother worked her way up to the very bottom of the top. You know how many people my mother had working under her at the corporation she was in charge of? What? None. She wouldn't hire any of them. What? Women tend not to hire women to be underneath them in executive positions because they consider women to be a challenge. Men they can deal with, the women they can't because a younger and hotter woman oh, can move up the line what? and take their job from I them. have always heard that the biggest problem against females moving up is other women. Because women's run, uh, was it, women outlive men and therefore women inherit stock. Therefore, women basically, statistically, women own every company in the country, folks. And for, uh, yeah, the new head of what, General Motors is a she's female. a woman, and she's a, you know, you know that she's not going. Okay, look at, the, when they put an attractive head in at the head of Yahoo, you think that there's a lot of attractive women underneath her? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. And proposed Medicare drug change stirs access worries.
Yes. Oh yeah, everything that the president is doing is restricting access, restricting medical care. There is no long-term coverage anymore under Obamacare. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, that was a simple one. That if you know putting your hand into a tiger's cage, you're going to get your hand bit off, then you also know that when you elect a liberal, he's going to go to the left just as soon as he can. <laughs>